This video just shows the latitude and how to use the compass protractor to find the angles. And once again, we want to make sure that they match up. Zero and zero. 90 and 90. 90 and 90. I realize there's a lot of extra numbers on here, uh, but just make sure that zero in this case, because we're looking at latitude, uh, that the zero is right here. So we're going to go ahead and put the crosshairs right over like that. So I made sure that zero was over here on the right side pointing towards the zero uh, that's labeled there. And so now to find particular latitude that we're looking for, we're looking for 60 degrees north. And so we've got these different numbers here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Once again, I'm 60 degrees north. If I was 60 degrees south, I would be down here at this 60. And so what I do is I go around to 60 degrees north. Okay, boom, 60 right there. And I'm going to put a line right through. Uh, and so going from our origin all the way through our circle. And so that line right there is 60 degrees from this zero degree equator. And so this is a 60 degree angle. Uh, if I was going to 90 degrees, of course, I would be going all the way around. So then what I suggest is just putting a dot or something there right there at that location. And then you remove your compass. And then once again, these are parallel lines. So this line should be just drawn straight across. You can get out a ruler and make sure it's straight and almost, I mean, almost exactly perfect from uh, being parallel uh, uh, with this red line here. Uh, so 60 degrees south would be just the opposite mirrored on the other side of the equator in the southern hemisphere. Now for longitude, same ID here. We got to first off make sure we're putting the protractor in the right location. So in this case here, zero. We want to match up with the zero located here. So I go ahead and put it in, put our sucker in, and boom. Okay, our compass is now on top, and that makes sense that zero is going to be where we have our zero line. So some things to note when we think about longitude. All of this over here is in the all of this over here is in the western hemisphere. All of this over here is in the eastern hemisphere. And so we're going from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way to 180, going this way. And this is all Western Hemisphere. And then we go going from the prime rating, going this way, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 90, 100, 100, 100 180. And so if you know, 180 West and 180 East are essentially the same line. Uh, so once again, we ascend 0 to 90 to 180 east over here, because we're east of the prime meridian. And whereas over here, we go from zero to 90 up to 180 west for the western hemisphere. And we draw these particular lines. We're going to do 86 north. And so we go over here, 80, 85, just a little bit up above that. 86 north is Indianapolis. Remove our protractor, and that's all we do. Uh, these lines, because we're looking at the world from above, these are just going to be kind of like a hub and spoke, in which we got just a line drawn straight from uh, the North Pole, in this case, to the uh, outer line, the outer edge, the circle. And that's all we do. Uh, whereas in the other one, latitude, we were doing parallel lines.